is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. We have sold the first vest shirt. Yes. A vest shirt did actually sell. If you can believe it. This is true. It did sell. Alright. So... That's awesome. And I hope that, uh... I hope that you guys will give it a look. I hope that you guys will consider possibly buying some of the merch. Because it took a while. I had to get someone to design some nice artwork. And I should give a shout out to Azure Studios. The, the designer of the logo and artwork there. It's really great in my opinion. People have been saying it looks like one of the best things I've ever put up on Teespring. I agree. Um, so give it a look. Some people say I'm surprised someone bought something. I am. <laughs> I am. I'm shocked because usually my Teespring stuff doesn't really sell. I'm just being honest. You know, the Teespring store is not something I push pretty much ever. I just mentioned that it exists, but, you know, you guys, I don't make a focus on selling merch. I'm not one of those guys, like, oh, it's all about the shirts and the merch and the stickers and this and that. Uh, you know, it exists because you guys want it, not because I'm trying to make a buck on it. Okay? So I hope you guys know that. Um, <clears throat> but since you asked for it, you know, I went ahead and made the merch. So give it a look. Teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP Gaming. You buy something from there, you help me out, and you get a cool collectible out of it. And, uh, you know, the vest. Invest in the vest. Alright, let's get... What the... Am I wearing this? I'm actually wearing this? Lego Mario, who tipped me a dollar, and he says, I saw something funny. Jake Paul was arrested for leading a riot and looting a mall in Arizona. In the report, they called Jake Paul an influencer. If this is supposed to be a role model for the younger generation, then we're all doomed. <clears throat> yeah, so Jake Paul, during all these riots going on, decides he's going to go out, you know, complete asshole, like we all knew, right? <laughs> it's not like this is any news to us. Anyone who's watched our content, we know. Um, he's going to go out and he's going to film. But not only that, but he's going to be filming alongside people who are looting. Okay? Well, this sounds very responsible, doesn't it? Um, some people said, I didn't watch the video, some people said that it seems like in the video he's looting too. Like, it seems like he's going into the same stores as the looters where he's not supposed to be because it's illegal. And it seems like he even picked up a bottle of liquor at one point as if he were looting. Whether he took the bottle of liquor, alright. <clears throat> Did I say the Logan brothers? I'm going to say the Paul brothers. I'm not going to say the Logan brothers. Um, the Paul brothers. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, right? Two, two dumb fuck YouTubers who shouldn't have a following at all. Toxic again. Toxic. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, looks like he's looting with everyone else, okay? <clears throat> so he makes these videos, and then afterwards, insane amounts of backlash against him. What are you doing? This is irresponsible. You're basically showing you're young, because by the way, the people who watch this shit are young kids. Intelligent adults don't watch that shit. It's just a bunch of young kids, stupid kids watching it. So, basically saying, you know, you're basically showing kids that it's okay to go out and, and loot and steal because you're documenting it along with the looters, you know. Like, what the hell do you think you're doing? So he comes out with this big public statement, oh, I didn't, that's no, I wasn't looting. No, I was just documenting. Like, okay, asshole. Whatever you say, anything for a view, right? <clears throat> well, he got arrested. He got arrested because the police basically said, you can't do that. You're an influencer. You got you know, how many hundreds of thousands of kids who watch your shit on your, your garbage on YouTube and putting a video out like that basically said it's okay to riot and steal and it's not. So, fuck you, we're charging you. So they did. Now, I don't know, you know, to what extent this will stick. It depends on the evidence, but yeah, pretty fucked up once again. So we got one brother who thinks it's okay to go to Japan and film bodies swinging from trees that committed suicide and joke about it. And then we got another brother who thinks it's okay to be alongside looting and, you know, violent acts of, th of theft. Um, <laughs> how is this, how are they on YouTube? I mean, <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> how are they allowed? How is YouTube this stupid? Do you understand why I don't want to care? I don't care about YouTube anymore. 
get it? Like, I don't want to be a part of that. You know what I mean? Um, I just don't want to be part of this anymore. I, I use it as an archive. Okay? And I can't take it anymore. These guys are just fucked up. Like, how do you, how do you condone that? How do you allow that? You know? Mean, meanwhile, okay, we just had two YouTubers who were engaged in a drama war. It was H3H3 and Keemstar. And according to what they said, YouTube told them to stop. That it was too harmful for them to continue with this, this war that they had on each other. That people were losing sponsors and they were afraid the platform was going to be hurt by it. So there, YouTube had to interject. Okay? But, you know, people looting on, on camera in front of their hundreds of thousands of child viewers or, you know, in a suicide forest filming dead bodies. Ah, that's okay. But we gotta stop those people from having, having a fucking YouTube beef. That's dangerous. <laughs> oh my god. In 2017, the bottom fell out on YouTube. They lost most of their major advertisers and it became completely impossible for someone like me to still make a living doing YouTube full time. So I said, I gotta do something different and drastic. I changed myself. I evolved. I became a full-time beggar. Um, and that's YouTube's fault. You know, I hate YouTube. Um, Timbo Slice Cherry says you can't attack stores and food places for doing things to protect people. They're pretty much following CDC guidelines. Yeah, no one's doing that at all. I'm saying this whole thing's so fucked up. We're allowing people to mass gather and protest and spread the virus, but stores now can't open and operate like they need to do to survive. I'm not blaming the stores at all. I'm blaming the government. See what I'm saying? Our government's terrible. Our government had no idea how to handle this thing, and they continue to botch it and mismanage it and not know what the fuck they're doing. <clears throat> That's the point I'm making. I'm not criticizing the stores at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, Phil listens to shoegaze. I have no idea what the hell that means. Tip me a dollar. And said, Thanks for calling out both sides over the years when they fuck up instead of just for being a partisan to his blind loyalty a certain way politically. Yeah, I refuse to do that. I refuse to be like, Oh, I'm a Democrat, so... Everything the Democrats say and do is correct. And I absolutely dis uh, disagree um, with saying, oh, I'm, I'm a conservative, so everything the Republicans... Is. That's ridiculous. Especially in the modern world we're living in. you got to think for yourself. You've got to be an independent thinker who weighs and balances what's right, what's wrong, what's best for everyone, and come to your own conclusions. Life as black and white is a simpleton way of living. I'm sorry to say it, it just is. It's called, I'm, I'm lazy... I don't actually want to analyze anything. I just want to be told how to think by a group and always agree with that group. And I will never live like that. <clears throat> I will criticize people when I feel they need it. I will tell you my honest opinions. That's the kind of person I am. That's the definition of a drama queen, seriously. I absolutely refuse to follow a line because I'm told that's what's good or that's what's right. I'm gonna always, you know, try to think and do what's best based off my experience, my opinion. I'm not going to be one or the other, all right? Just take a job. No. Oh, yeah. I'll never get a job with my taxes. <laughs> the world is not black and white. If we had politicians who understood that, we'd get a lot more done in our country. The problem is you got people who are so hyper left and hyper right, they're not willing to work together to actually help the American people. They just want to argue their, their left and right points like two little school kids on a schoolyard. No, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. And nothing ever gets done. <clears throat> and that's not good. <clears throat> that's what sucks with our, about our country and our political system. And then when you get a third party, an independent party, no one will take them seriously and they never get into any position of power. I think my morals are what make me a, a, an easy target in a lot of ways. I'm serious about that. Like, I do. I think that my morals have held me back from success, further success over the years. Last Rambo Charity says, Just like you adapted to the PS1 version of Super Turbo and you won the tournament, you could have adapted to the speed of the 30th anniversary since it's been out for two years. Well, uh, excuse me. That would be, that actually would be correct if <clears throat> what I'm stating <clears throat> was representative of the entire game. So, for example... If every time you played the 30th Anniversary Collection, it ran at the wrong speed, I could adapt to the wrong speed. The problem is, all the stages run at the correct speed except Zangief stage. So you're telling me, you know, 80% of the time when I'm playing the game, I play it one way. 20% of the time, I need to remember to adapt and do timing a different way. That's stupidity. That's, the, that's accepting a hideous game flaw that should have been fixed in the collection before they sold it, but they didn't care. 
they sold it, the port into a third-party company who did a piss-poor job, and that's why the collection sucks ass. That's why the online play sucks, because the third-party company is a terrible company that makes hack-job games. So, no. Bullshit. Truth, uh, if, if the entire game ran at the wrong speed, you're right, Last Rambo. I have no reason to complain. I should have adapted. But it's only one fucking stage out of the whole game, and it ruins entire matches. On that stage, Vega is the best character in the game. There is no way on Zangief's stage you can block what Vega does with wall cross-ups. It's impossible. It's just, it's too fast. So, sorry, but I'm telling you, from someone who's a top player, or was a top player at one point, that it does not fly, what you just said. Sorry. Uh, I am a former professional fighting game player in the capacity, not that I did it for a living, I was a high-level tournament player, fourth place at EVO, top uh, player of Street Fighter II that year overall in the country. And then after that, years I had won uh, you know, qualifiers, various qualifiers for EVO, and you know, done pretty good in tournaments overall in, in Street Fighter II over the years. Uh, Elton John, a rocket man, tipped me a dollar and says... If Ben and Jerry made a dark side filled flavor of ice cream, what would it taste like? Hopefully not Wendy's chili. No, I would want to go with like like something with chocolate or brownies. You know, I love chocolate and fudge and brownies. Like, I'm a chocolate aficionado. So, something chocolatey for sure. Van Halen tipped me a dollar said, I got it bad, got it bad, got it bad, got it. I'm hot for Jasper. You are weird. You are a freaking weirdo. <clears throat> What the hell? Look what Jasper did! Jasper just did that! Jasper just did that! <laughs> Jasper just did that! <laughs> Dude, Jasper hit... There's a, he hit the input on the keyboard and it changed it over to that scene. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. That was hilarious! That was hilarious! Jasper did that! Dude, what the hell? Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone. Like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. 